Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Thomas Snurs, it's the human, and welcome back to Medieval 2 Total Wars Rebel Campaign. You join me outside Bologna before we take out the Holy Roman Empire. The Milanese will be soon gone after that, and over here, the final Portuguese holding in Cordoba will go to. All three of these will go in the end turn, so this is going to be the end of the first part. Well, the first kind of section, the first chapter, let's say of our Medieval 2 campaign here, because once we've done this we'll have to prep ourselves for the Mongol invasion. Not too far away now at 1035, to see what we can do, get our forces east and build up the infrastructure before they come and the Tamirids after them. We'll have to see what we can do with that, but first we need to knock out these empires. Emperor Henrik the Watcher, the Watcher, yes he watches on as the rest of his empire crumbles. He is sitting here in the city here, oh here's Hildegard von Bingen. He sounds very useful by the looks of it, but there we are. Uh, not too shabby. But his army is mostly just very half-dead militia, town militia and some spear militia. A few ballistas, strangely. Um, Peasant is there, and on the hidden extra part. I don't know why this is nine across. It's really ridiculous that it's not ten. But there we are. Yeah, just some more ballista. Wonderful. Well, my army here is more than good enough to deal with that. Let's head in and let's finish up Heinrich. Right, as we pull back into our position, we can... Well, there's a slight incline over here. It's not too shabby. I've got myself a simple formation on my spear at the front. A couple of units at the side, Viking Raiders, for example. And then we just have our archers and crossbows in behind. Honestly, we have plenty of strength here. We'll obviously use our missile troops to do some annoying damage in the meantime. These lads, get yourself going forward. I did something to the spearmen there. Yes, they haven't actually got to their position now. You lads go over there, that's fine. You're just defending that flank. Perfect, 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 perfect. They're beginning to get into range of my crossbowmen now, and obviously I have my cav over on this flank too. I don't want to pull them out too much because I want to lead them towards my infantry. I can easily win the infantry battle. I do to make sure that I'm shooting at their general with mine. And he's just approaching the flank here. Oh, XCOM 2. How lovely. How lovely. Right, uh Oh, I don't... Honestly, lad, you get yourself back over here. Let's get our general units out to this flank then. Come and meet the general if he wants to come and meet my cav. We'll give him that option if he wants it. Javelin lads, can you just get into that kind of position there? If the general wants to come towards the crossbowmen, we can throw some of our javelins in too. Can we get these crossbowmen to both aim in at the general too? Now they're pretty much just approaching us now. Um, yes, let's send these generals around into a flanking position, please. Lovely. General doesn't seem too happy right now. He doesn't quite made up his mind what he's doing. Can I have all the infantry on defend and just guard your position? That's essentially what I need you to be doing. These javelins should do marvellous good work now. They're on their charge mode at this point. Galloping horses. Stop playing XCOM 2, James, I'm recording. Right, charging in. These javelins should do some lovely good work to him. Uh, Oh, these town militia. What do I want to do with them? Polish nobles. Just clear them off. Then we can get a surrounding on the general. Over in this direction. Town militia are facing against our generals. You might as well smash into them. Kazakhs, just lay some general fire in, please. You guys, can you just shoot over here now? Just charge in, lads. Need the Polish nobles just to kill them. Come on. You'll rout them pretty easily, I imagine. Okay, he's now... Ooh, ballista shots. Yes, of course we ballista to do it, didn't we? I didn't realise they'd got out to meet us already. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. These lads... We need to use these generals to get around the back to go deal with the ballista then. I don't really want someone dying for no reason at this point. Um, right, they are running through the Polish nobles. I'll pull these lads back for now. We, we would actually have to train Polish nobles in a few of our cities, so can get on with that at a later point. Right, generals, don't run through the spear militia. Run out to the flank. You might actually rout them just because. 
Oh dear. Right, um, let's get back to the infantry battle over here because I think we can possibly do a little bit more to help. Um, do you have any spare lads now? Yeah, possibly. Possibly, possibly. I think these two lads can redeploy themselves. Well, be it actually there's generals there. I don't really want to risk that with a general right there. These lads can just come in a little bit more, maybe try and get a bit more of an angle on them. Viking Raiders, you just head in. Fat just charge into them. That would be marvellous. This general has not made good use of his own life. And, yep, he, he's going to go down here because we've got extra spearmen in that position. My generals, obviously, still dying over there. <laughs> Let's go and meet the generals. Right, guys, you need to stop dying because you ran into far too many spearmen back there. Excellent. The cowardly enemy king yeah, he's fleeing. I thought as much. Does not deserve to live. Nope, he does not. Right, sending this Shashurashi to go deal with those lads. In fact, our general might just be able to cut him off here. This town militia got themselves trapped. Who's this? That's the Polish nobles chasing off the general. I think we've got him here. One way or another, we've got this general here. He's running in through the siege tower. No, he is... He is now integral to the siege tower. You're gonna kill him. There we go. General's hat there, got him. General himself, as far as I'm concerned. Um, right, so this is pretty much done at this point. That is the last of the Roman Empire's down. Emperor's down. Well, not of the Holy Roman Empire. He's not really the Roman Empire at all. It's just a fake. He's a phony. Right. Spear Militia, one of the only ones left. Infantry, just make a charge forward at this point. Honestly, I'm quite happy for you to do that. General, you can start chasing them down. Polish nobles, get on top of those lads there. General, likewise, get on top of them. Smash them out. Those Spear Militia are there. Honestly, overwhelm them. That will be absolutely fine. They will not last very long. Yep, head into them. Clear them off. They're out in two. I didn't think they needed very much convincing to route. There we go. Right, this is pretty much wrapped up, and it indeed is. But no, this is the end of them. I'm going to give them the chance to die properly and die to the last man. I think that is only fair. Just chase those lads in. Do as much damage as you can. Can we actually have missiles to stop shooting? Who's run out? You have. Missiles, please stop shooting. Um, and you lads, can you just wander off? Because I think you're going to do more damage than good at this point. Cav, chase these lads in. That would just be marvellous. Get inside the city, Polish lads. And chase them on down. These lads are in the way of the gate. It won't open now, so I'm afraid we're going to have to slam into these guys. And these guys have to get the ram. So, at some point, we're going to chop them all down. Because currently they're in the way of us getting in. It's one novel way of uh, blocking the uh, city gates. Just physically block it up. But the ram's going to come in now anyway. So it's all fine. It's all fine. There's only one true way for the last Germans to go down. And that would be to be shot by the Poles. Some sort of, you know, forward thinking retribution system. Yes, well done, Poles. You finished the job. Lovely, lovely work. <sighs> yes, he watched as his men died, all 1,091 of them. Marvellous work. The Imperials are gone. That just leaves Milan and Portugal, the two most mentalist of all factions left. We'll just sack that. That'll be lovely. I probably should just occupy in these in this area, to be honest, because they're worth a lot of money. Uh, Genoa, right. Duke Catalano. Uh, faction are here and just a few lads, not a huge amount. This is a, oh yeah, this is my amazing elite uh, general's army, this one. Marvellous. Godred, Godfred Fodberg, the Danish chap himself. And in honour of many a true nerd's Danish charge down to Genoa for no real explained reason, I will do much the same. Duke Castellano here will go down to the Vikings as ever one should. Let's head in and let's clear him out. On this auspicious occasion, we actually have ourselves a bit of a defensive hill, which is just marvellous. I'm not actually going to set myself back. But as ever, Milana picked the most horrible, horrible weather you could ever imagine for this battle. They always do, don't they? 
little arses. Absolutely, absolute arses. Right. Well, either way, they're all going to get themselves killed very soon, which is just perfect for me. So I have a kind of stand of formation, really. I don't want the fire. Um, actually, we probably do want fire, just because it's that kind of a battle. Where are you lads going? Get on with it. So, uh, yeah, I kind of have a standard kind of thing, my spear at the front. Viking Raid is kind of ready on each flank, just to give some assistance if need be. I have my archers and crossbowmen in behind. We've got the height advantage, so we should be able to do some good damage. Can I have my Viking Raiders just get in as well there? Because that's kind of the point of view. And, yeah, let's have all my cav over on one side. You guys stay there. Slam into them, please. Right, all my cav. You're getting yourself out into a wide position. If their general wants to take us on, he's welcome to... In fact, there's two of them, actually. If they want to take us on their welcome, they aren't going to fare too well. That is one of them there. Smashing into our Viking Raiders. I don't like that. I like my Viking Raiders. They've done me good, good, hearty work. Right, you lads charge into them. Straight into the Italian Spear Militia because I am that crazy when I'm facing Milan. Yes, die Milan. Although, I probably don't want to kill my general. That would be kind of stupid. Right. They are entirely piling on one flank, which means I need to very much do the same back to them. So, these lads, get yourselves around this side like this, please. There, Shoshoshi. Can you come back over here? And can I have all my missiles just... Honestly, just focus in on them. I don't really care. In fact, actually, no, I've got some spare cav. Spare cav, you need to get around the flank, please. Oh, the general is fleeing here. That's the other general, secondary general. Lad, you need to be running now. We need your support. Ah, they don't like it. They can see the envelopment coming. They can see it coming. Well, too bad, general. You're going to get yourself stuck in with those spearmen just as my general gets there. All cav, head straight into him. Let's go. Gonna get charging. Oh, some of them just got their lances down, but not really enough of them. All infantry. Let's forget all formations and just charge in at this point. General, get, pull yourself back out. You don't need to get yourself killed unfortunate, in an unfortunate circumstance. Uh, likewise, you two. Where are you? You're in this melee somewhere. Likewise, pull yourself back out of it. You are very experienced, yes, but there's no need for you to just die stupidly. Get yourself into a nice side position over there. Just marvellous. Oh, missile troops. Sorry, you shouldn't really be running over here. Get back on their hill. Get back on their hill, lads. Right, you charge into some of their flank. Oh, wow, okay, he's just exposed himself there. Are we going to hit him? Got a charge, just almost caught him there. And unfortunately, they're going to catch up with their counter charge. Pull out, lads. Pull out. Oh, this is incredibly messy. I like it. Um, who are we trying to pour on top of this time? All right, all missiles. Just shooting at the general. You've got the height advantage up there. All cav. Yes, we've got ourselves into a position. So all of you just pull out to the flank. Viking Raiders are doing some good shopping. Can I get one of you, yeah, a couple of you coming around? Let's do what we were doing before and get the envelopment working, please. Right, let's take out this general since he's getting in our way. Right, that's 3v1 and 3 with 5 and 6 experience each. Yes, we got him! Oh no, he went down with it, Steve! Ah, oh, what a noble, noble death. He actually, he actually took him with him. Wow. My own missiles just stop the shooting now. You're just causing us trouble. Just move over there. Have we not won? There must be someone who's just regained his footing. And there we go. No, they are gone. Sometimes it's a little bit slow on this. Oh, we're going to chop them down at the door, are we? The door hasn't opened. And they are just going to be chopped down. The Genoese little cretins that they are. They can die a painful, painful death. Yes. Death comes to those who are Milanese. That's Genoese. Choppy, choppy, chop, 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 pan, chop again. And there they go. There we are. There's just a couple left in who are coming back out. 
some of the most cowardly of the dogs. Execution by fire is the only way that the last Milanese chap can go. But he's running through the firestorm. Well done, sir. Oh, the crossbow. The crossbows didn't get the memo. And that is it. They're gone. Executed by crossbow. Beautiful. Uh, there we are. Well, not the cleanest of victory. I was a little bit, uh, a little bit mad with that battle. But there we go. There we go. We've managed to clear off the Milanese. And well, we'll just occupy. It's fine. We might as well just keep it to that. And finally, Cordoba. Then the Portuguese. Oh yes, beautiful King Pero. Now King Pero himself. Oh, look at the dread on that. That is magnificent, sir. Wow, a cruel, cruel leader. I'm doing the people of Portugal a big favour here. And why the people of Portugal? I mean, the people of, well, Andalusia, called a bit. Um, I'm not quite sure what the region's called on this, but there we are. King Pero. There are some Ginete, but to be honest, there's not a lot here. This isn't a particularly great army, but it's what's left over of the Moors largely, and just a few of the men from El Cid. In fact, actually, no, El Cid obviously took over, didn't he? Of course, I sent El Cid in. That's why this chap stand on the outside. It's because he actually took over command instead. So, uh, I... Yes. He would have taken over command. I think he gained some command and he would have taken over. So, I've got El Cid making sure that he finishes off the campaign in Iberia. El Cid, the Honourable, shall head in. Let's go. Alright, the Genetes are just charging straight in at us for some unbeknown reason. But no, they are. No, they pull back now. That would make sense if, if, yeah, if I were you, I wouldn't be doing that. Let's get a Turkomans wrapping around the flank there. Because as ever, I just love my horse archers. Beautiful. These lads are just getting drowned in arrows. I do love Genetes, but they're not going to be happy with this current situation. Lovely, lovely stuff. You lads, if you want to run, that would be perfect. And yes, we have these lads off skirmish mode. Perfect. Right, this shouldn't be too tricky, but it's the last battle against any of the original factions. From the Papal States, obviously he will still exist. Um, but we don't really have to worry about those guys too much, to be honest. Um, they will just keep on having a new Pope, but there's, yeah, whatever. We'll just keep killing him. Lovely work. I don't really know where they're supposed to get it from now. There are no Catholic factions yet left. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm heretic as far as I'm concerned. So, uh, yeah, there we are. Um, Genetes are now broken. Lovely. These lads are just on guard mode. Now they are anyway because I've just told them to be. Right, let's get our generals out then. You lads. Uh, El Cid, yes. Over on this flank, please. Can we get our Turkomans? out there quite a bit further out that would just be lovely and let's get these two calves out in this kind of a direction onto the flank thank you lads dum bum 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 this is gonna hurt us it's a bit of an angle though so it might not be too shabby for us swing yourselves around lads you're not the best infantry in the world but honestly you can get around the back of him oh cav get running Oh, I knew you'd catch into this, these lads by accident. Just move out here. That's fine. That's fine. And now swing into the general. Right, the general seems to be wandering all over the place. There we go. Right, general over here. Oh no, not you lads. Not you, everyone else. Right, okay. What am I doing? These lads are going to smash into the Spear Militia. El Cid's going to come round the flank here. Just take out those Ginete. Good charge into these lads to do them. Well, you know what? We didn't really charge them at all, but there we are. Let's charge into those Town Militia instead. Oh no, we are taking on the Ginete now. Just charge into them, lads. Perfect, there's a route there. Get those Spear Militia instead then, please, El Cidio. Victory Technical the term for El Cid there. The enemy are bad Wavering. They have lost half their men. Are we just leaving their general while he plows through our inf <laughs> through all of our men? I asked you to attack him. That right, everyone. Everyone, everyone. Go off guard mode and get on with it. You go and deal with them. You go and take on them. General, have you cleared off these guys? I don't see them anymore, so I guess you did. 
Let us go and smash into those spear militia. You go and sweep up the Ginnies over there and let's go and finish this off. Elsa, just so you don't get yourself stupidly killed, can you please pull back into this kind of a position over here? Thank you very much. See, the one thing you can't do very easily on Medieval 2 is kind of get a big growth rate. Because, oh, there we go. Because on Rome, you obviously have a very dynamic population system where the recruits actually come out of your population. You can disband units back into population and all that kind of lovely source. Ah, oh, there we go. He has gone. The dreadful man has gone. Yes, and obviously you can also enslave and all of that kind of thing. So there's tons and tons of ways that you can actually artificially, uh, well, kind of boost your boost your well boost your population. Obviously, we want to be boosting all of our population in the towns in the east before the Mongols invade us. So that is something that we should be thinking about. So chivalry, someone like El Cid, the honourable over here is the best way that we're going to get a population growth because that is just a magnificent way of increasing the population. So we want to be trying to see what chivalrous generals we have after this and we want to then go and make sure they are in some cities that we or some castles that we want to make extra big. There we are, the gate is being opened for us which is just funny. Although that has just activated the, uh, the towers for a moment but they're all routed now. So there we are, we're just galloping in Perfect, perfect, perfect. The last lads. Are these the last ones? These 14? I think they might be, you know. I think this is El Cid's job, to be honest, guys. I think that's it. Oh, no, there's some Ginete as well. Well, I think this is for El Cid to do now. El Cid! Ah, oh, that is El Cid there. It looks like he's wearing a top hat. No, it's <laughs> it's just because it's a black feather. It looked like a... What angle is it? There! He's got a little top hat on! That's amazing! He's got a hat on! El Cid is the greatest hero ever! Oh, it's just so beautiful. Right, well, either way, we've got to go and finish them all off. dun 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 El Cid will kill you! Marvellous. I really don't want him to die here. That would be ever so annoying. Go and kill the Ginnies. Last few Portuguese chaps then. But who's going to be the last? There's just a few left. Uh, oh, is it just whoever's here? These two Ginny... Ginnite. These two lads here. There we are. Jeffers and Stevis. They are the last two of all of the Portuguese. Down to just one. And there he goes, slain by the King's this Guard. And El Cid, the Honourable, with his top hat, <laughs> is victorious. I think it's fair. He's done such good work for us, El Cid, in this campaign. Oh, yes, a few tight battles, but he's just about pulled it through. In the end, not with his own army. Ironically, he managed to finish it with the help of the Moorish rebels. But they saw the light, the light of heresy. Occupy the settlement, go on. Right, lad here, crawling county. Now, do we want any dread? Yeah, we'll have him anyway, because we just get offered anything every single turn. Faction destroyed Portugal. I don't know why you didn't get the other two up. That's a bit of a shit. Oh, well, alas. Ooh, that was strange. The game's doing some weird things recently. Yes. <laughs> right, large down ready to upgrade. Obviously, we're going to have a lot of building work to do. Now, um, obviously, at this point, I do have all of the main regions. I, I have us all around the map. I've taken out the factions. Um, it's just the Papal States left at this point. I have abysmal relations with them. Do you see, technically, the Pope exists here with a small army. So um, that will forever kind of be the case. I'm just going to keep an army around Rome to stop whatever weird spawning he has. I'll kill him off, but he, I'm pretty sure he perpetually lives on this game no matter what you do. Ah, oh, good old Fodberg. You got some fair in rule. That is lovely. Yes, yeah, so um, I'm gonna have to have a look around and see who's got the good chivalry. But in general, I'll just be sending all my armies east because really where we're at now, we're at the point of preparation. And I've been doing a little bit of that already. Um, over in this area, I've been getting all the farms built particularly as these cities all need to be growing. Now, obviously, there are a few places that specifically they might well come for. Um, they often come around this area here towards Yerevan and Tbilisi. 
They might come up in the north towards Bulgaria and Sarkel, or they might come down somewhere towards Baghdad and aim to Antioch. Um, obviously don't know where they're going to appear, but obviously uh, the Tumirids will do the opposite. I'm pretty sure they always do the opposite. Seems to be the case in my experience. So we're going to do a little bit of infrastructure building in terms of money, but realistically um, money shouldn't be an issue now. We are gaining 20,000 a turn, which for the whole map is kind of ridiculously low. But do, recall, do remember there is no infrastructure here. Um, yeah, the, the scrolling is still really jerky. I do apologise for that. I, I've, I might try and uninstall and reinstall. I'm just terrified I'm going to break everything if I do that. But um, yes, that is a slight issue there, isn't it? Let's just try and merge these lads because they they were just annoying for that retrain as well. Um, lovely. Only one recruitment slot there. Adana needs to be grown. So there's a few things then before the next episode. The next episode I will have skipped forward. I'm not going to show you episodes and episodes of me just building infrastructure. But what I will be doing is building my infrastructure across the eastern end in particular. I'll prioritise my money there. But I will go and upgrade other places too. It's obviously important for me. Oh yeah, Kiev of course. They will be aiming for Kiev. So I want to make sure that I'm building up all of these cities. Places like Smolensk. Um, get the Boyer's Sons. Oh, the Boyer's Sons. Okay, so we got some of the Russian troops over here. Castle built. And obviously some of the other ones. I'm going to build an awful lot of things into cities. In general, it's going better. But because I've got a variety of troops. Like I've got the Mygars over here. Not bad basic troops. Um, yes, because obviously I am able to get a variety of different troops from... Yes, yeah, so here I've got... I'm going to keep this castle, for example, because this I can get some Hungarian troops. Over here, I can get some Polish troops. Um, up here, as we just saw, I can get some Russian troops. So I do get a variety around the map, so it makes sense to keep a castle for each faction, just so I get a variety of troops. Actually, over here, there were some longbowmen, wasn't there? Oh, yes, lovely, 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 juicy longbowmen. Um, of course, it, I want to make sure that I've got them retrained, but I can retrain them when I get over to the east. So pretty much from here, um, when you next rejoin me, I'm going to be over in the east, and it's going to be when the Mongol invasion, or the message just comes through for the Mongol invasion, um, until then, I will be building up all of my forces. So I'm not sure how long this episode will be. It might be a little bit on the short side. Um, but in all honesty, at this point, it will just be me building up infrastructure. We're going to find all the men with the best, um, the best, what is it, chivalry, to go and improve some of the growth rates. Just make sure that we've got things as well be up, built up in this area of the world as you possibly can. Because to be honest, there's quite a lot of work to do. Very little infrastructure, particularly over here, I've owned a lot of this for a while now, and the infrastructure is virtually non-existent. One more job to do before we end the day then, and we need to take out the Pope. As I said, the Pope should just reappear out of his arse somewhere, but you know what, we could better take this guy out because he represents all the old Catholic factions that we have just put to the sword. And he has the ornamental armour as ever. But we should take him out because he still is one of them. Let's get in there. Let's finish him off. As the truly righteous, we are the ones upon the hill. They are the ones looking down to the sea. Yes. Yes, we will strike them down. Absolutely. With all the archers in the world. I actually have four infantry units in here. All I have is those four lads and two of them are damaged. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I'll just send the Turkmen ones ahead. What do they even have in their army anyway? Uh, some crossbows, if I recall. Mercenary crossbow, mercenary crossbowmen. I gotta hide those. Oh, should have bribed all these lads instead. Oh well. Oh well, indeed. All right. Well, at least the archers and things are starting to get into position. Can get their shots away very soon. Turkmen's are there in the sides now. Anyway. Can I get, please, my cav? Yes, let's just have these two actually for now. I felt like from my was going to say, Can I have a hallelujah? Hallelujah for the Pope. But no, he'll be shot down. Like all these lads. Like all of them before him. Actually, no, you lads come out to this flank. I've changed my mind. But it's good to see. We have Armenian archers here. We have Armenian archers and they are down the hill. It's not really going to be working out for them very well, I suspect. 
Nope. It's not gonna go well. Okay, all of you that can hit him do. And all the Armenians just shoot at him as well. Honestly, let's just shoot him down. <laughs> Where is El Popio? Ah, El Popio. He's already been shot a few times. Look at that, he's getting absolutely slattered. Slattered! That's a new word for you, ladies and gentlemen. He's been slattered here. Yes. Lost half their men. Uh, sorry, can we turn skirmish mode off? That'd be good. Lovely. Thank you, lads. Excellent. The cowardly enemy king flees. Smash from into them. To live. And pull out of there, lollies, because I'm going to need you not dead. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset. But oh, let's just kill all their battle. missiles of all of the our missiles. And the Pope is gone. A worthy enemy, but no the Pope is gone. White top hat for him. No, 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 no. We continue. We, must push our we continue taking them down. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. Can I have some Armenians, please, shoot at them? Can I have some... Where are all the Armenians? There's some other Armenians. Can you shoot at those other lads? Perfect! Ah, well, this is one way to end the first part of our Medieval 2 campaign. It's been quite an interesting one, really. It's been incredibly quick. I mean, I, I guess in the end it was probably about the same amount of turns as Rome, um, realistically. But essentially by turn 13, the world was just Italy and Spain. Like, everything else was completely gone. It's just ridiculous. In fact, to be honest, lads, I really think we should just turn the missiles off at this point. Uh, let's just chase it down with Cav, honestly. It's much easier that way. Um, hopefully we'll get these lads back. They'll be fine. Right, yes. But yes, uh, well, with the Mongols ahead. Mongols ahead in turn, I don't know, twice as far into the game as we are now, basically. I'm having a 30-odd 30, 30 turns, maybe 30 to 40 turns to build up. Depends how good my economy gets, to be honest. I don't imagine it's going to get an awful lot better than it currently is very quickly. Um, I tend to find as the uh, rebels, there's quite a lot of corruption in the game. But there we go. Let's just finish off this last crossbowman. Then he's going to go down. The last holy man. Well, the last holy man of the old world, really. There we are. Chopped down. Chopped down. Only lost a few men there. Nothing too bad. What does not destroy me? It makes me strong! Yes, and we've destroyed all before us. Apart from the Aztecs. We, uh, we haven't done anything about those lads over here. We'll get to those lads one day. <laughs> uh, we'll get there one day. Forza Laser over here. Two and a, oh, it's two and a half thousand, not doing too shabby. I actually do have some generals over here, by the way. We have really good chivalry because of the tax rate really low forever. So these lads are actually um, really good for the growth rate, which is probably why it's so high. Yeah, the government influence is having a big impact there. So there we are. If we could ever hire anyone over here, we'd be able to get some good forces, but we can't. I don't think anything is going to happen with these cities over here. But there we go. That's a shame. That's a shame. Well, there we are. The Pope's gone for now. I'll probably pluck another one out. But there are no factions to take it from, or no factions to give the Pope, uh, well, any Catholics, because. A lot of my lands are pretty heretic at this point. 42% heretic over here. 29%. I think it's up in Scandinavia. Was there someone over here? No, I'm mistaken. I don't remember. They're all congregating somewhere. But they like to wander off, the heretics. I can't. I don't actually completely control them. I can tell them where to go. They also just do their own thing too. Right. Well, this east coast, the east coast, the east side of the map is where I will be focusing then for the next 30 to 40 turns when I build up my empire. At the moment Mosul's looking a bit underdeveloped. A castle of only 1700 people will have to be very much ready soon. Same with Tbilisi, likely to be a target. Only 2000 people at the moment. It's literally just grown up, hasn't it? It's not particularly big. Sarkel and Bulgar looking terribly weak. And Kiev, a possible target. Only a large town, 3,000. Not great at the moment. Should probably be turning that tax rate down by now, shouldn't I? Yes, I should. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I think for now, as we look over our great capital, Tom Stantonople, and we demolish the church, which I don't know why was there. Did we just destroy the Hagia Sophia? No, it was only... Well, we didn't, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um, 
yes, as we as we gaze over our magnificent capital, I bid you adieu for now. Well, I bid you adieu for chapter one of this rebel campaign. We were the Mongols with the Tamirids, and then we've got to work out what to do about the Aztecs over here. My brother tells me that he can get any ships himself. We'll see if that's the case for us. But for now, I will leave you. I'm Thomas. This is to know the human. I've been playing a level two Total Wars Rebel campaign. Thank you, and good night. They are just throwing themselves to their deaths. Woohoo! Chunky, chunky, chunky death. Oh, that wasn't a very good charge. Oh, <laughs> we're flying. There is no one near beside him. Yeah, axe in the head. Axe in the head. Yeah, beautiful.